Okay, just now we activate the fixed size for the cavity and now we activate the movable side uh, for the core. So we add the new component and uh, name it as core. Okay, this also same on assembly UCS. After that, uh, we rotate it. Then we go to the composite curve and we select this for the first and this for the last. Okay. And then we go to solid new extrude. This is one side and delta is 90. Mm. After that, uh, select OK. And now we hide the cavity. And uh, we show the parting surface part and show the part work okay after that uh, we go to solid cut it's like this with the mouse button okay the arrow is pointing to the uh, pointing here Okay, after that, it's like OK. And then uh, we need to export it, export to part. So we hide the parting surface part and we switch to parting tree and we uh, hide the split 0 1 and we show the split 0 2. Okay, and we select this cut active or export to part options and we select the core and we select this two. After that, press middle mouse button, import options. Okay, and then select OK. And then uh, we hide the parting. Mm, we hide this. And uh, we go to the this dynamic section. Okay, sorry, before that we need to uh, stitch it. So we go to face, stitch, select the entire model and then select OK. So we go to dynamic section. Yeah, now it's solid already. So with this is kind of long X, a long Y. Uh, this is the result. Now we want to edit the mobile base, so we um, show the fixed side and the mobile side. After that, uh, we activate the X mode design. So just double click the uh, plate. Okay, this is 90, we change to 100. Okay, this we change to 90. Okay, click update. After that, press middle mouse button. 
Okay, next we hide the mobile site. And there is like this uh, face and right click activate component. Okay, and then so we change to wireframe mode. We select the composite curve. We select this for edge. And then we go to solid, remove extrude. Okay. After that, uh, we go to the cavity here. We uh, hide the cavity. And then uh, we round the edge. Middle mouse button. The radius is 9. Okay. After that, we show the cavity and we activate it. And now we hide the, this API SG plate. Okay, and we go to round. We round it and by using 10 mm the radius. Okay. After that, we show this plate. So you can see here have the small space, so it's uh, for easier work. Yeah, and um, this is the result. Yeah. Now we repeat it for the core side, so we need to activate the movable side, and we hide the big side. Okay. And uh, we activate this plate, activate component, okay, and then uh, change to wireframe mode, select the composite curve, okay, and then we go to solid, remove extrude. Okay, and then uh, we hide the um, core, so we go to solid round and we select the edge. Need a mouse button, the radius is 9. Okay, and then uh, we activate the core and we hide this. Sorry, is this? Okay, hide this, the first one. And we go to solid round, select the edge, like the cavity side. Yeah, we just repeat the step. So the radius is 10. Okay, and then we show it. Okay, now we want to uh, add the slider. So we activate the mobile site, right click, activate component. And then we select the uh, add more component, slide units, and make sure the Haskell MM uh, is selected. And we select the slider assemblies, this slide core mechanism assembly Z180. Okay, this we use place on face option. And we need to hide the core side. So, um, select the face and then 
we select the middle point okay after that to we'll go to the first option uh, this is 90 and uh, we show the call so we move the delta z to negative 25 and y we select it for 30 okay okay after that uh, we go to the second requirement so we select the edit uh, parameters this and this and we select this one ok and ok uh, and this which uh, need to use is without cut option and ok now we go to the first option the delta x we change to negative 3 so now it's balanced at here and go to the second option now ok everything ok select ok Next, we double click the slider and then we click the 112 here and we select this catalog table and we check this predefined as non standard. After that, um, select OK. Okay, now this uh, we minus 60 because uh, it is not suitable for the more base and uh, this one 95.3 also same negative a uh, minus 60 okay after that uh, select update and with the mouse button we activate the slide call mechanism okay after that uh, we select the, this quick uh, modification tools relocate the component we select this With the mouse button and then go to front view okay and after that uh, we show this API SG plate and uh, the Delta Z is move it 10 okay and delta x is 40 after that select okay 